thing. God, I suck at Halo. <laughs> yes, you do. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, rude. Hi. Uh, <laughs> if anyone's the shyest one sucking you. Oi! Oi! Ow! This is the fear of the fucking stage of being assaulted physically and and this is verbally abusing me. This is bullshit. <laughs> what have I done to deserve this? <laughs> Well, hello everybody, welcome, we're here, it's a podcast, Scuffcast, let's go. I feel like yeah. I should just call it the Scuffcast, if anything, but... <laughs> nah, it's, it's gotta be the sack. Isn't that copyrighted, though? Well, the, sack, scuff, the, the, the Scuff, the scuff sack. sack. Yeah, I think the, yeah. The scuff <laughs> sack. <laughs> <laughs> that could be taken so badly, it's, it's gonna be right out of context, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get those sort of people coming here and just saying, so where do we get to see your sacks or something? Well, like uh, hello everybody, welcome to the scuffed sack. Uh, <laughs> Can I take your order? Can I take your order? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, we just serve tea bags with holes in them, so all of the fucking shit falls into it. There you go. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, some dude. of them. There's a special room out back for if you uh, order the special item of the interview of the. <laughs> Of the interview. The interview. I'm still in debate about cafe. I feel like sack cast just rolls off the tongue better than sack cafe. Yeah. Like it's too many syllables. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like when you say that, sack cast, it's like say. sack cast. It's two things. Sack cafe <laughs> is three things. I don't know. You gotta minimize it, you know? It's true, but I mean, we can't really just say good. welcome to the sack. Got it. Welcome <laughs> to the sack. <laughs> yeah, welcome to, welcome to the sack. <laughs> yeah, that's actually really tempting now. We should just leave it at that. So there we go. New welcome, name. To welcome to my sack. sack. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to our sack. Fuck's sake. Actually, I can't believe it. This is like the third time we've done this. It's It's been over a month and we still haven't decided on the name yet. <laughs> yeah, one of these days we'll figure it out. I mean, I feel, but I feel like we should just try to, instead of like trying to incorporate our names, we should just try to make it like what we would call it. So, like, I don't know, the fucking. I mean, the first iteration was literally a pair of balls on a cup of tea. <laughs> Which know, you really. made. <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah, that was the, that was supposed to be the outline. I showed it uh, in. You chat. already showed it last stream. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we could call it something like, uh, uh, what, what, what do you call it? The the super scuffed sack show. So uh, the SSSS. <laughs> yeah, there so you go. <laughs> oh, so Have an abbreviation That's in the words. abbreviation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what does SSS stand for? Oh yeah, the the, the super I'm scuffed I'm show, super scuffed sack show. What is the sack for? Oh, that stands for. <laughs> and then this stands just have like layers of. <laughs> then crow, well, crow things. actually stands for. <laughs> yeah, and then crow actually breaks down into, and it's just fucking. It just keeps going You're like layers, You're like layers yeah. of an onion. There you go. I, I wonder <laughs> how how much you could do it because you could probably like break down like the whole B movie script into like. Dude, that would be that fucking hilarious <laughs> to do something like. Imagine that. <laughs> Yeah. Like and like our title screen could just be like the big four. It'd be like those fucking site charts where like it gets smaller and smaller text under each one. <laughs> it just starts with the abbreviation and then the next one under it and the next one and the next one. It getting smaller and smaller and more and more novel like. So <laughs> we make perfect. a family tree out of our fucking yeah. <laughs> It'd be perfect. That's why I'm people throwing shit at me! <laughs> this is oh, bully! <laughs> You're you in my what? stream, why are you bully me? <laughs> well, that's what streamers are for. They're there to be bullied unless they wow. do music, which is why I do music. I see anyway. how it is. <laughs> Bully the crow. I'm supposed to be the object of a cult. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, you are. You are. This I'm is so, yeah, the it, bully we, cult. We I'm supposed <laughs> to be the cult leader, and I'm being harassed and bullied. <laughs> well, you this know, you're only a thing. figurehead. It's uh, it's the rest of us mods that really rake in the cash. Anyway. Wow. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> Through generous donations, the mods ruin everything. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude. So, um, let's get, let's get on with some sort of topic instead of just randomly mumbling about some damn 
I don't know. Yeah. I think it's fine for us to mumble around because in about oh, yeah, four yeah, minutes, yeah. I'm going to go get my food. You know, hey, let's talk about that. Uh, or, or I have to go check yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, let's talk about yeah, that. Sure. So uh, I'm trying. Late. But listen, <laughs> I'm late because I'm trying to. With how my schedule has been, my sleep schedule has been utterly decimated as well. Uh, and so, like, I woke up really fucking late because I couldn't sleep. And then when I woke up, I try. I needed to like make food because I don't have any actual food, like, like immediately edible food. I should say, like everything is like I have ingredients, but I don't have like microwavable instant meals or anything like you can that. Eat a right potato. Now. Yeah, there you go. So basically, I I'm making like I have like these recipe cards for like this delivery service, and what they wanted was it was like, supposed to be like a shepherd's pie, but rather than do a shepherd's pie, I essentially. I laid out the ingredients for the shepherd's pie because, like, it's it's uh, whenever you do the way their ingredients was really weird. It was essentially just throw a bunch of meat, potatoes, carrots, uh, and onion together, put it in the at the bottom of the container, and then put mashed potatoes on top of it, and that's it. That that was their shepherd's pie. So I was like, okay. That's simple. That's really simple. How about I make it a little more interesting? So instead, I did basically where I laid everything at the bottom, but then I put that funeral potato mix. If anyone doesn't know what a funeral potatoes are, just Google it. It's it's Frank like Stein. It, shut up. It's it's its own <laughs> thing. Uh, but I had like a mix for it. But then this mix turned out to want a really large amount of water when mixing it. I can only assume it's because there's like instant mashed potato kind of thing mixed with it. So it's gonna thicken up as it goes on. Um, so it was way more than I could fit in my like my biggest pan that I have. So then I had to you split everything. And yeah, I had to put it, I put it into like a small like, uh, cake, what is it, like a pie? cake pan whatever the fuck a small i can't think of the name Get a bigger one. so i put uh, well, i split some of it i only need to split some of it in half or partially like away from it so i had to split I mean, it into two it, containers uh, put it in a bowl I read, that's something else that's when i was mixing the <laughs> you, thing you can tell he's got yeah, the brains it's in the a, put it in a bowl first what are you talking about <laughs> what frankenstein Oh my fucking god! Anyway, so yeah, I had to I had to separate that, and uh, this is a is gonna be a very interesting experience to say the least to see how this works out. <laughs> There's go with the first topic we can think of. Well, um, we can get this out of the way. Sports, let's go. Yes, yes, that's my <laughs> idea. All right, I will say there is two things that are going on that anybody who's not a sports can understand. First, mm -hmm. COVID is destroying teams. There's at least probably ten teams that got attacked by COVID. They literally had to move uh, two games to different days just because of all the players that have got infected with COVID. So that sucks. Another funny Ooh. thing is uh, there's a coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars got fired without finishing a season, which never happens. <laughs> so let me go with the first couple of things he did that got him into that position. First, he hired an assistant coach that was a racist <laughs> against all the players. <laughs> and then, you know, he fired. they fired that guy quickly. And afterwards, like it was like the third game, they lost it. He didn't go on the plane with his players to back home. He went instead. He went to one of the bars he owns and had a girl grind on him, <laughs> which is funny because it's his bar. And there's a picture of him and his wife in the background while some oh. college girls grinding on him. It's just all over the place. It's hilarious. I was wondering how that could be bad. Like, obviously, he's, he's, he's one of these people that don't really give a shit. To be honest, though, right, in that situation with him, so it was so why you didn't go on the same plane as the players you give a fuck about that like come on but then the grinding well, yeah that kind of makes sense okay it's all about team mindset and that's where another thing happens the the players started to hate him he even called uh, his yeah and uh. well of course that built up because of all that stuff and then his he called his assistant coaches losers and he wasn't even naming the players by names he would like name like special, like special team players, like he'll just call them kicker, punter, or he wouldn't even say their names. So basically, it was just this psychopath that was a businessman who just viewed all his business and nothing else. He was a good college coach, supposedly, but when it goes to the NFL, he, I'm assuming he I, died. I, I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> he was a good <laughs> college coach. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I guess so he tried. That's to... why he was so popular in college, because all have all of them grinded <laughs> on him. <laughs> the truth I comes believe, out. 
<laughs> but the, I think the main thing was like that really got him fired was he kicked one of his players while they were practicing, and uh, Wait, they were probably like, he kicked him. He kicked him, and then in they the were probably house. like, no, nah, it was in the leg. It was one of the punters. And yeah, I think that's where the owners are like, okay, we can't have this anymore. You're kicking players after all the shit you've done. And you're fired. <laughs> Oh, what do you mean? We're not getting a truck, we're getting a clown car. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, I don't think I've told Chad about that before. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't? No, I haven't heard this. Um, one of the, so my, my, my dad likes to work with cars and stuff, and uh, basically he's going to give me uh, this... <laughs> what, what the fuck is it called again? Name okay. it? The actual oh, car. No. Uh, like, like a little... Uh, 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 no, the smaller car. Oh, smart car. Oh. Yeah, like a smart car. There you go. Like yeah. one of the, like, the really small ones, like a... The, the like is it like a Prius or whatever it was called? I can't remember what the name of it was. I don't think it's Prius. actually a Prius, but I forget what the fuck the name of the actual car is. But uh, it's like one of those really really tiny ones that only have two seats basically, <laughs> and then the trunk, <laughs> and, and they're like extremely fuel efficient. So it, it's really like one of it. it's one of those. He he's just gonna give it to me because he had got he picked up one for really cheap and he's just he fixed it up. And he's like, nice. yeah, here you go, you can take this. <laughs> and I'm just like, sure, because I will rarely use it, and you only have to pay gas for that thing for like once a month. So if I'm rarely even using nice. it, oh, I'll be paying gas like ha once half a every half a year. Like, <laughs> and the insurance should be really, really good. Actually, that's another thing, right? In the UK, you have to have car insurance. You're not allowed to not have it. Mm -hmm. Is that the same in the US? I don't know. Mm, if you have a car, then I, I assume, yeah, I think I so, yeah. Say so, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. everything I've uh, seen uh, from you as if, if you don't have insurance, you're not allowed to drive. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> it, it was one of these, these things like you don't have licenses for your gun. So why the fuck would you have a license for your car? You know, <laughs> I mean, insurance. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what the fuck that car was called now. Now it's annoying me because like, I will have a cute car. <laughs> cute car insurance. <laughs> cute car insurance. Hell yeah. yeah. That's a great. That, that's Sharing a great care. brain fart there. Thank you for that. This that was a lie. <laughs> Well, that'd be, that'd be kind of dangerous knowing that you're like the only person that's driving around there. You park up your house and then like, one of us comes Not along. Not to mention, I hey, don't tell anyone that. <laughs> that they're streaming in real life. Wait, you haven't even told your parents? I didn't realize that. Well, they kind of... What do you tell them? They don't they know who I see. am. They know that I do. Oh, they just right. don't know who yeah. I am. And I thought you did say that they, they knew that you streamed or that you did, did something on the internet anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they know they're streaming, but nothing more else. Oh, that, that's on my dad's side. On my mom's side of the family, they don't even know that I'm a streamer. <laughs> they just know that I work <laughs> on the computer. <laughs> Actually, that's something like I, I know that uh, my family is. I've, I've, I'm incredibly lucky. Incredibly lucky. My my parents are wonderful people, and I know that even you know with me doing stuff on the internet myself, if I decided to do it full time and I had decent enough following behind me, they would support me and stuff like that. And they they would they would like to know who I was, and they wouldn't you know they're, they're smart, they're clever people. They wouldn't go off bragging about you know. Oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm crow's My dad. My crow's uh, yeah. so famous. You know what I mean? They're, they're not that sort of people, so I, I'm really lucky. But... <laughs> what about you, for example? I, I'm going to throw it at Sig, because I've, I've looked at Sig now. So what about you? If you, if you decided to, to start doing something like streaming online, you had, you know, you had, you had everything. You'd be stable enough. What would your parents say, do you think? Well, my dad was disappointed in me by the time I finished high school, so that's out of the question. <laughs> uh, let's see. My mom, yeah, she'd I probably like. Already. I'm probably making money. I think she'd be fine with it. Yeah. No that, that is Crow the Drummer. Thank you, Dragon. What about you, Andrew? <laughs> Crow, the I mean, famous. My, my dad was novels? fine with it. Yeah. Uh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've, I I've, like I've met Andis's family, so it's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> or, 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 well, your your mom and your sister and all of them, and they do like uh, the gist of everything, right? So, yeah, yeah, and they were just so, like, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, you you guys have heard Andis's sister <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on <yeah>. stream <laughs> just pop in. 
Like, hello. We're just yelling to you, hello, master. <laughs> <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a fun drunk stream. That was that was a good time. A nightmare, like nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what? Let's let's go with this as well because uh, Christmas is coming up. Uh, what do we think is better, giving or receiving presents? Uh, I say receiving. I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> receiving. I'm fucking broke. <laughs> Because yeah, I mean, we know that Andis is the top in the relationship. Anyway, oh uh, my what you God, what? <laughs> I was saying, like, at a younger age, receiving is definitely better. But as soon as you get yeah. older, then giving gets to be the more fulfilling feeling. Anyways. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would love to give gifts, but I'm <laughs> poor. Yeah, <laughs> it's really a matter of anything. like. Uh, I would love to. I would love to give gifts if I could, but like I usually don't have a, a whole lot to be able to give. Generally, I, I, I generally I give, give snacks to myself. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like generally I'll like bring snacks or like give things that I have like a ton of extra of. Like for example, mm. I had a fuck ton of ramen from when <laughs> when I when I went to Arizona. We bought like. But my grandparents got me like over two hundred dollars worth of fucking different kinds of ramen, and it's like yeah. I they were starting to expire, like to the point where I can't eat them that much. So I was just giving them to like my mom and and, and them because uh, it's her her boyfriend and like two kids over there. So like they all just just like yes, I love this stuff. It's like fucking crack. <laughs> so it's just like yeah, that's great. I love doing that. But then at the same time, like I'm perfectly fine. Get, I'm ha I'm perfectly happy getting gifts as well. And oh, by yeah. gifts, I mean yeah. money because they usually just send me money nowadays. If anything, which which yeah, I mean, nobody, which like happens. Nobody disappointed with gifts. Nobody, nobody yeah. ever disappointed with gifts unless of course it's a really really bad gift. <laughs> yeah, like who who doesn't like gifts? And I mean, especially when it's just money because then you can just give whatever you want. <laughs> but it's so funny because like. Yeah, living alone has really like skewed my mentality to everything. I'm much more stingy than I, I definitely used to be. Yeah. That's for certain about everything. And also, it's like whenever I receive money and like like as a gift or something, I think of it in terms of bills. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh man, for my birthday, my family sent me like a uh, hundred dollars. I could pay my phone bill easily this month. <laughs> It's such a everything is so skewed now. It's like, oh, yeah, I can afford my phone bill. Yeah, like, <laughs> just it, it, your your priorities shift. Like back in the day, yeah. like when you don't have to worry about things, if you got money, you're like, oh hell yeah, I can go get this game or like uh, I can go buy this I toy go, as a kid's like I or can whatever. Go and get this uh, bubble gum. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. I can get all kinds. I can go get some McDonald's or, or whatever. <laughs> and nowadays I'm just like oh thank god i can i can pay my rent i can afford, my life. <laughs> I can, I can afford, I can afford to live another month <laughs> it's, just, it's such a it's such a change on things it's like i found like since i've been lo learning japanese and stuff like I, I i find myself trying to work out the english word for the japanese word that comes straight to me you know like, there's there's a few things like obviously with Japanese there are a few words which which describe a particular situation perfectly but you don't have the English equivalent so you've got to think a bit more about the English equivalent and often that word pops up in my head but sometimes it's different as well it's it's oh it's 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 an interesting thing I have to say I remember there's some languages that have weird things like that where it's like they have a word that's super fucking specific to like describe something like i remember the, I, I can't remember exactly what it is but i remember in german it happens a few times where it's like yeah there's like yeah. a word that describes the feeling of something essentially and it's like Don't it's like really specific anger language <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> every I've... german is just angry <laughs> my my godparents are from germany and one of these words that they, they actually taught us i can't remember the word itself unfortunately but there, I can remember what it describes. It literally describes the moment where you're rolling your eyes at your wife because she's nagging at you. <laughs> <Beautiful. laughs> yeah, honestly, I, I can't remember. It's, it's a bit like yada yada, you know. That that yada, sort of yada, thing, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> yada, yada does it. That sort of, that sort of Japanese sort of thing, like oh for fuck's sake, here we go again. It's brilliant. <laughs> oh dude, I just that's around the. I don't know. 
Go ahead. I was gonna say, since we're on the subject of langu uh, languages, I should say there was a time when I messed up my Spanish because uh, <laughs> back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was working and I needed some gloves. So, like, instantly my brain just ran out of like brain fart. So, I went to a co worker and I was trying to explain to them I want some gloves, but they only know Spanish. I, so. I want some socks for my hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually worse than that. I'm like, all right, okay, gloves, Spanish. I can't think right now. So, can I I'll just ask him, like, can you give me some globals? Globals. <laughs> oh, yeah. but I was like, then it's globals. And then the funny thing is, Globals in Spanish is balloons in English. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I need God. me some balloons. <laughs> and she was just looking at me like, Do you want some balloons? <laughs> but gloves in Spanish is want this. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah, like, I, I, just I, I, to work out the balloons. I actually just found a, a list of some of the weird ass words that happens like in German. <laughs> Oh, One is Treppenwitz, which is literally is a word for a joke about st that revolves around staircases. So a staircase <laughs> joke <laughs> is a Treppenwitz. <laughs> it's, like, it's so fucking oh, oddly specific, and you can't like ever come up with that in one word in English. Like you have what? to fucking have a sentence to describe that. Like, <laughs> that is beautiful. Like whoever came up that word is an absolute. Genius. I love Trip and wits. wits. Yeah. It's, oh my God. And it's an actual word. I'm just like, what? All right. Then All right. I guess uh, we'll call it there for today. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, let's go through a proper outro. I'm taking over the outro uh, again. Go for it. I, yeah. uh, sure. Why not? Um, I won't do this next time. I keep on forgetting to not do this. Bad me. Anyway. <laughs> so, yes. Thank you for coming and watching us. It's been great fun. Always love these. So I was Sunkaro. You can find my shit if you look up my name. I don't think they want to find your shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want to know about going and, we uh, anything more about me in particular out of all of us, then yes. If you just search me on, even, even on Google. In fact, if you search me on Amazon, you'll find me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> find have, his have famous award-winning book nobody reads it it can't win any awards <laughs> <laughs> moving on Cygnus okay uh, I'm Cygnus you can find me at Cygnus21 on Twitch I do Halo sometimes and on Twitter at xcygnus27 and this how well? Give an outro, Andy. <laughs> uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. C great, cool. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. And I'm shy. Hello, this is my stream. Of course, you know who I am. <laughs> uh, we're going to be continuing this.